everyone, I'm back with another episode of Sneaker News for upcoming Air Jordan releases for the month of June. we have a basketball shoe and actually this one is releasing at the end of May. We have the Air Jordan Why Not 0.3 Wash Coral. Since it first released, this silhouette has already had plenty of colorways you could choose for. Meanwhile, this mob model is being filtered through the floral lens of Summer Pastel being dubbed as Wash Coral. The Air Jordan Why Not 0.3 is expected to be released at May 28, around 130 USD or 6,500 peso. Next, we got another pair of sneakers which is releasing at the end of May. And we've been waiting for this pair since last year. Finally, we have the Air Jordan 13 Plint. This shoe actually got released on a shock drop last May 17, while the final episodes of Last Dance is airing. After quit a few leaks, some unfortunate delays, and unofficial confirmation in, in early of April, the Air Jordan 13 plane is finally coming. We have a blue side walls panel with dotted textures that are also 3M reflective. The tongue finishes with the light aqua jumpman, while the emblem at the heel pays homage to some legendary MJ play. The Air Jordan 13 plane is set to release in May 30 with the price tag around 190 USD or 10,000 in peso. Next, we got the Carrot Space Jump Shoes. Just kidding! <laughs> Guys, we have another hair release and that's the Air Jordan 6 hair. Actually, we just got a release of Air Jordan 7 hair 2.0 last April that mostly sits on shops. I believe the reason that it did not sell as what is expected is because of its texture. It has this very great texture around it, which is really not popular in my opinion. Plus, it starts at 250 USD price tag, which I believe is expensive. And plus, when this got released, it was a day earlier than Air Jordan 6 DMP, and I believe the Jordan 6 DMP was a crowd favorite than the Air Jordan 7 Hair 2.0. Personally, I will not buy it at the price tag. Maybe if it reduce, then I might consider copying one. Anyway, this Jordan 6 version, however, features a jug graphic on the tongue's underside and sunk liner. Furthermore, it adds rich purple to its Jumpman logos on the rear and underfoot, as well as vibrant green to carrot like lace toggles and outsole. The Air Jordan 6 hair. He is expected to release in June 5 at around 190 USD or 10,000 in peso. Next, we got a Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0. This upcoming Air Jordan 3, which is dubbed as Animal Instinct 2.0, dressed in premium exotic materials which unites croc skin, ostrich leather, and snake skin. While the iconic elephant print remains at the heel, I personally prefer this version of Animal Instinct that the recent release that we got which features of a safari-like theme. The Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0 is expected to be released is at June 6 at around 220 USD price tag or 11,000 peso. Next, we have a women's release of Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Tie-Dye. Judging from what has been revealed so far in terms of the Air Jordan 1 this year, it's become clear that the Jumpman design team has been more indulgent of giving the classic silhouette more playful vitality in this summer. One of its women's focus retro high OG offerings is continuing just that, as the sport coming tie-dye iteration is slated for a June release. 
This Air Jordan 1 pair bows a tie-dye pattern, coatings its overlays, and falls against a neutral style backdrop executed with white leather base layers paired with black toe boxes, laces, swooshes, and ankle collars. The Air Jordan 1 tie-dye is set to release at June 11 that around 170 USD or 9,000 peso. Next, we have the first out of two rumored release of Air Jordan 5, the month of June. First, we have the Air Jordan 5 Alternate Gray. Having first been rumored back in last year, image of the Jordan 5 Fire Red surfaced this week, alongside speculation that Virgil Abloh has another off-white Jordan 5 in the works. Akin to the later, the Alternate Gray features new emerald shark tooth shapes on the midsole, this vibrant view also takes over Jumpmont logos on the tongue and lace toggles. Just as on 2013 black grape version of the 90 silhouette. The Air Jordan 5 alternate grape is expected to be released at June 13 at around 200 USD or 10,500 in peso. Although some says that this pair might release at the end of June, the official release date is still unknown for the moment. Next, we have the second Air Jordan 5 that is expected to release for the month of June. We got the Air Jordan 5 Top 3. This pair features fire red metallic and grape colorways. Among those, the easiest to pinpoint is certainly the vibrant heats of purple and aqua blue that adds pop of color along the tongue and its embedded Jumpman insignia. Elsewhere, the black-dominated metallic steers the helm as much of the upper, cages, and front place accents of the tooling, topped by the midsole molds and painted lettering of the fire red. The release comes together as a proper love letter to the model itself. Top 3 colorways are always popular. In fact, there's a rumored release of Air Jordan 1, Top 3 2.0, in holiday of 2020. We still don't know anything about it, but I hope the Jordan brand will release this pair. But yes, the Air Jordan 5 Top 3 is releasing at June 13 with an expected price of 200 USD or 10,500 in peso. Next, we have, uh, I believe, another woman release of Air Jordan 11 Law Concord Sketch. This Air Jordan 11 Law features a Concord design with hint of fur foot. What else to say with this? It has the same tech specs that previous Air Jordan 11 law. Everything seems the same except that they use purple and white color blocking with this one. This pair is expected to be released at June 18 and I believe the expected price will be around 180 USD or 10,000 peso. Next, we have Air Jordan 11 Concord Red which was released last May 23rd in Europe countries and set to release on June 13th in US. This colorway brings along a striking homage to the silhouette's most iconic appearance, black patented adjacent wild textiles recreate the Concord signature tuxedo image. I believe this one's an easy crowd favorite. The Air Jordan 11 Low Bread was released in EU countries last May 23 and expected to be released in US at June 20 at around 180 USD or 9,000 in peso. Last on our list, we have the Air Jordan 14 Gym Red. First rumored in early March, the Air Jordan 14 Gym Red is inching closer to its tentative June release. Newly surfaced image of the fair reveal a complete look at what will arrive to retailers. Debuted at the tail end of Michael Jordan's The Last Dance, Seasons with the Chicago Bulls, we all know that this shoe was at the last shoe that Michael wore in his last championship game. For me, this colorway screams Chicago Bulls, currently the Jordan 14 Gym Red, is slated released on June 27 at around 190 USD or 10,000 peso. But that is subject to change given the ongoing delays caused by the COVID-19. Also, we got a special mention guys. First, we have Air Jordan 3 Varsity Royal, which is rumored to be released on June 23. Second, we got the Air Jordan 1 OG Mocha, 
Third, we have the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Rage Green. And lastly, we got Air Jordan 1 Satin Snake Women's. These are all unconfirmed releases yet of Jordan Sneaker for this month of June. Some might get pushed back because of some reason. But yeah, the Satin Snake looks fire. And if this got released, I'm definitely gonna try copying it. Personally guys, on all these releases, I'm so excited with two sneakers. First, the Air Jordan 5 Top 3. And the second one, the Air Jordan 11 Red. Which we already tried to cap and it's EU release and managed to take a loss. And I believe that I will also take another loss in its US release. I suppose but hopefully not. I might also grab a pair of Air Jordan 11 sketch. Or if there's an official release of Air Jordan 1 Satin Snake, I might try to get it. With that being said guys, what upcoming releases of Air Jordan for this month of June are you planning to have? Just let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time guys, bye!